Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back once again to another little slice of my YouTube heaven. Um, a slightly different one. This is no gameplay. This is just me and you talking. Um, I was going to do this video of weeks and weeks ago. Uh, but the subject of the video, you'll notice the tagline. It's a mental health and gaming. And not a lot of people, wait, well, they do. Some people put two and two together and realise that when you game, you can sort of escape into a different world and forget about things and whatever's going on in the outside world isn't as important because you're playing a game. Um, I felt that a lot over the last month. Obviously, we've been in lockdown. I haven't been working. I've only been back to work a week or so. Um, so I've spent a lot of time in the house and I've got four kids in the house and a missus. And I, I fairly pretty much just tried to avoid them. It's It got to the point where my mental health was suffering at the point where, because what it is, I, I suffer with anxiety a lot in really random and different ways. And mine is, if I think I'm poorly or ill, it gets worse. I make it worse. So, for example, I um, went through a period of where I was trying to catch my breath. So I was taking an extra breath. I was <sighs> doing that. And I felt like I had to do it every five or six seconds. So I'm talking away to people. I'm talking to all last name and name. And if I felt like I didn't get one, I was hyperventilating. And if I hyperventilate, I have a panic attack. And if I have a panic attack, the whole world's going to end. I'm going to die. And that's it. So the only way around that was to distract myself, to forget about things, to try and put everything in the back of my mind and realise that I'm not actually dying. I don't have coronavirus. Hopefully. Um, I don't don't have to be in a dark, bleak, black place, place. and my way out of that was to, bizarrely, <laughs> play something which makes us angry, play Call of Duty, especially Call of Duty, Modern, Modern Warfare, and I played a lot with Robbie, by Polar Bear, I played a lot with Yuri, Todd, and I played with Rocco, and Phil the Brit as well, Um, we just sort of ended up all gaming at the same time and I was sitting to one of Robbie about it the other night and I kind of realised that because Robbie's <laughs> Robbie's weird at times, really weird but he's a good kid and is probably the only person I can actually talk to really because he's so far away, I'm in Newcastle and he's in his castle somewhere with a moat and servants and staff and everything and I would say Portville but he doesn't live in Portville because Portville doesn't exist, Stoke area um, he's down there in that much I think it is and I can talk to him because I don't have to see him I don't have to look at him which makes it harder especially for men I think men really really struggle with that having actually eyeball to eyeball conversation with another man that's just not right um, on a headset or by my phone I sort of poured my heart out to Robbie a little bit and tell him I was struggling and the only thing that was getting us through was our regular 8 o'clock or 7 or 8 o'clock meetups in a party, on the PlayStation, chatting shit, doing stupid challenges, enjoying myself for a few hours, and getting myself through this whole lockdown situation. And I, I kind of think it might have helped one of the two or the other one lads as well. They might have been going a little bit stir crazy, and I'll quite happily admit I was. I was fucking climbing the walls. I had a big fight with one of my sons, which still hasn't really resolved itself. Um, I lost my ten ma. He lost his ten ma. We both had a big fight. We'll get over it. We'll we'll work through that. I had a big fight with my missus. Again, we'll we'll work through it and get through it. And I don't know. It's just sort of the little dawn realization that you don't have to be alone and you don't have to be next to somebody to to get through things and to be able to pull yourself from a very dark side to something which is very random. So something like this and just stupid games you know a lot of people look at gaming and go oh it's just a crappy little game you know you think you know pac-man running around the maze if you want to be yeah if you want to be someone in space and you want to be someone in medieval times you can be you can be with gaming and it helps it takes your mind to a different place it puts your consciousness somewhere else so everything that's going on in your life doesn't really matter anymore just for those 10 minutes if you want you can jump on a game for game play for 10 minutes you can jump on for two and three hours at a time. Now, fair enough, I was probably taking the extreme. I was playing four and five and six hours at a time. There was days where I didn't really do anything else and I did just play games and 
probably not fair on the missus, probably not fair on the kids, but I had to justify my mentality somehow and I've slowly played a lot a lot less over the last week or so I've getting a lot better. I've gone to work as well, so that's distracting us, so that's much that's that's helping basically. But my games are still important. Me my friends are more than important. My friends don't realise that even just by sending stupid memes and stupid pictures on WhatsApp, Yuri. Um that you make us laugh and when you make us laugh it's good. And when it's good it's a better place to be than upset and sad. And I just want other people, anybody who does watch this, just to just to know that my social media is always there. You can always find us. You can find us on Twitter at I am sneaky. My PlayStation is hi I am sneaky. Just put the fucking word in sneaky in Google and you'll find us eventually, right? Every single game I tag or name I've got is says sneaky. Right, and those who are on me Facebook know that they can message us anytime. I've had a friend recently who had a very tough time and we just sent each other stupid little messages and chatted and talked and hopefully maybe he may even watch this and realise that that's what you do, that's what friends do. Friends talk to each other, friends distract each other, friends help each other in ways that you don't realise and the likes of the PlayStation, the Xbox, the PC, the Switch, fucking mobile gaming for God's sake anything if you can distract yourself you can take yourself to a different world and that is your way of coping then you're not harming anyone you're helping yourself and i just want to say a big big thank you to those people in the group robbie yuri rocco phil and many more that uh over this last six to eight weeks or whatever it's been ah uh, you've helped you've helped us a lot and this is Probably the longest video I'll ever make and the sloppiest video I'll ever make. But if anybody does watch it and you are struggling or just want to chat, get in touch. Pick up the phone. Get in touch in any way, shape or form. I'm here. My friends are here. Christ, if you want a game over, we'll accept you in. You can come and sit at my party. We can chat and we can game together. So we can help you just by doing something stupid like playing a game or jumping in a lobby or making a stupid video that might make you smile then we will, we'll help, help me, and I'm meant to be this big tough Jody. thank you very much for watching, and remember, stay safe.